you're on. Thank you for that beautiful uh, message to our um, to the people of uh, Parameta passing by this park. I wanted to share with you about um, the Lord um, being being um, an open-hearted kind of person. I wanted to share with you this verse. Let me bless you in the name of Jesus. Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite heart. For all of you who have an open heart, who have an open ears, and you are hearing and listening to this, to the words that my brothers and sisters have shared with you, the Lord has an open heart to those whose hearts have been broken. If you are experiencing a problem, troubles in life right now, my brothers and sisters, the people of Parameda passing by, you just have to open your heart. If you, if you cannot find, if there seems to be no way to escape your problems, your trials in your life right now, if there seems to be darkness along the way and you couldn't find the right path, if you are in the time of confusion right now, my brothers and sisters, Jesus declared that He is the truth. And if you are in the times that you feel that this life isn't going nowhere right now well jesus said he is the life you just have to follow him you just have to open your heart open your heart and as he said he is willingly forgiving all of our sins so you just have to repent open your heart repent that you have sinned Repent that you have sinned and accept that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You can go ahead and come to my brothers and sisters approaching you, sharing the prayer. The prayer of acceptance, of fully acceptance, of fully having the control of the Holy Spirit to make your life straight to make your your life right to make your life good and i promise you but jesus actually promises that he will bless he will bless those people who will come unto him so let me just share the prayer that we all pray and share to the people who's walking by. You can say, I repent. I repent of my sins. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I repent of my sins. Who have not sinned? My brothers and sisters, who have not sinned? All of us have sinned. Even if you think that you are good, even if you think you are doing the right thing, we have all sinned. So let me just share the prayer with you. I repent of my sin. Hallelujah. More prayer, more Jesus died for me. Why would Jesus die for you? Because Jesus died for us because He wanted to bury all of the burdens that we have in our lives. Jesus died for me. Say it. Jesus died for me. It. He was crucified. He was crucified. It. He suffered for you, my brothers and sisters. He suffered for you. He was crucified. He arose from the dead. The name of Jesus. He arose from the dead. As He promised, 
He arose from the dead because He promised us that He will give us eternal life. That's why He arose from the dead. With all of the eyewitnesses that's written in the Bible, the best-selling book of all time, five million copies, has written a lot of best-selling books. And say this, open your heart right now, my brothers and sisters, say this, Jesus, come into my heart. And say this, so that Jesus will completely enter your heart and change your life right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the good name and sweet name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, King, and Savior. Amen. Amen. Can't lie. <laughs> Understand? Let's get the 